Anyone who don't know who Winston Selka is, please do your research and find out. I tell you something right now. They're in the control rooms in this place watching us. They're getting out their sick bucket. They're wretched in there. They can't believe that this day has come when Winston Silka is outside Scotland Yard chatting words of Bondo and Babylon. Winston, Bondo and Babylon. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, like Stafford said, um, back in 1985, they put six people, or should I say, they framed six people. Three of the, three of the, you know, for the murder of PC Blakelock, basically. And um, before the trial started, the three ju ju juveniles case was sort of thrown out, vanquished, and left the so-called three adults. What happened, basically, was a, not just a miscarriage of justice, was a travesty, blatant frame-up of three innocent guys. Now, when I look back, sitting in the dock, basically, with my so-called two co-defendants, which I didn't know, and I'm looking at these people now, I'm no angel, yeah? But looking at these guys and they've given me as um, so-called co-defendants, I'm thinking, hang on there, this can't be right. People could see this, that we're not the same age group, we don't move together. So how are these people gonna get away with it? But basically, with all the suggestion, helicopters in the sky, police on um, the old Bailey with guns, while you're going to trial, obviously puts things into jury's minds. And what I'm here to say to you today is that was back in 1985. We actually got framed in 1987. Yeah, we got falsely convicted. And today, nothing's changed. Nothing hasn't changed at all. I mean, in my day, we had a thing called SUS in the 70s. You just walk down the road, police come up to you, you stole from persons unknown, quantities unknown, yeah? And you could go to the magistrate court and basically you'll get convicted, get six months or fine or whatever, and that was a blemish on your record. Today, this joint enterprise is even worse as far as I'm concerned because you could be in your house and some of you know, whether they're guilty or not, down the road, they're in problems with the police and they draw you in because they want you. You see what I'm saying? They want this so cool, they like to give this, the black community this sort of gang culture. Nobody can't know nobody normal, you've got to be in a gang, which is a load of rubbish. Because at the end of the day, when I was growing up, me and this ugly guy here, <laughs> we used to hang out. It doesn't necessarily was a gang. We were just friends from the same community who grew up. And it's the same thing. When I talk to young people today, they might grow up in their state, but they're not in no gang. But they all get clumped together. And basically, when the police come with their fools to deal with them, it's a togetherness. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of innocent people get drawn into that... Um, Dragnet. Anyway, before I finish, like I said, things are not getting better. It's getting worse. Because like I said, the way they convicted me, basically, was on so-called confessional evidence, 25 words, which I had never said. They, they fabricated the words, put it in there, got proved with an ESDA test, which is electric died something or whatever it is yeah they done a test on the the, the deposition basically and so it had no comment no comment no comment so obviously somebody's put in 
uh, piece of paper with words. He's not a speak. He's not a speaker when it comes to public speaking. We've got earworm, right? Earworm, right? They carried out the most outrageous framing of this man, and we was able to prove using the Ezra test, electronic in the analysis, that they framed him, and as a result of the experience that this man went through, we now have tape recorded video in, and video interviews in police stations, okay? So as humble as he wants to sound here today, what they did to him was what they tried to do to Christ. They tried to sacrifice him on the cross. And we took him off the cross and we're here today. Winston, most people thought we'd never be standing up here on the roadside together. We go to prison for the murder of a police officer, you're never going to come out of prison. You're never going to get parole. You're never going to get bail. So most people thought that this could never happen. Imagine. We got justice, but we give them no peace. They're going to assist him. It's still fuckery. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace.